My brothers and sisters, the affair of sadness and grief and worry and distress is something that afflicts all of us. There is not one of us except that he is afflicted by these hardships. These hardships that affect the heart and affect the soul. Sometimes this grief and worry makes a person feel miserable. And they feel down. And sometimes the term depression can be used in a situation where a person has gone to far extremes with regard to his sadness and his worry. Such that he cannot function normally due to that sadness. The pleasure of his life is spoiled due to anxiety and worry. Yet alongside that, a believer, he knows that this is something that will occur as a course of his life. And he also knows that worry and sadness is something that is an expiation of his sins. And it is a means of raising his level before his Lord. As hard as his worry may seem, he knows that there are positive outcomes. If he is patient, if he is truthful, if he is obedient and fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and from the most beneficial of those outcomes is that he is encouraged because of that which he is going through. That he is encouraged to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to humble himself before Allah to complain of his suffering to Allah to make dua and, and beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all of this brings to a believer a sense of nearness to Allah in a manner that is indescribable. That a person recognizes that he has reached a state in his life. He has reached that point and that stage whereby only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will suffice him. 